So let's start uh, off here, and, and I just have a question for every maintenance, everybody. Maintenance, is it needed? How many of you have heard this from friends, family, people that are maybe outside of the industry before? Do I really need to get my furnace tuned up? Do I really need to get my air conditioner tuned up? Or maybe you've even heard that from employees at an HVAC contractor shop. Is maintenance really necessary? Do technicians take the time to tune up their own equipment? Or is it more like the shoemaker's children that they're the ones running around without shoes? And so I think this is really uh, important for us to think about when we're thinking about what we go out and what we do. Are we, be, are we providing services that we, are, that we can be authentic with? Or are we providing services where we're in it authentic because I was told that this is something that we need to do and we don't understand really how this uh, impacts uh, the business or the customer that we're going out to see. And we'll dive into this a little bit deeper, but one of the things I wanted to just introduce is this win-win-win philosophy. Harvard Business School uh, back many, many years ago came up with the definition for good business. And they said it's a win-win-win philosophy. And so when you have a win for the homeowner, a win for the residential HVAC replacement business, and a win for the distributor or the manufacturer, that's probably good business when you look at the different aspects of the supply chain. And when we take a look at open tune-ups, it may not necessarily make sense. Well, how is that beneficial to the distributor, to the manufacturer? How is that beneficial to the, uh, to the homeowner? And maybe even how is that uh, beneficial to the business? It's probably one of the lowest cost uh, revenue generating things that we do as a company. Yet, as you can see in the HVAC business diagram, it has the greatest impact out of all of the other activities that we have in the HVAC business model. See, when those tune-ups come in, they turn into maintenance agreement opportunities, they turn into opportunities for indoor air quality, they turn into opportunities for replacement sales, and when we get that customer involved with a maintenance agreement, as we talked about as we introduced the HVAC business model, those maintenance agreements turn into opportunities for replacement sales, opportunities for indoor air quality, opportunities for demand service. And it all started with that open tune-up getting into the door. But there's a couple of things that we have to make sure. We have to make sure that when we're going out and doing the tune-ups, that we have a strategy in place. And whether that strategy is for the tune-up itself to be profitable or the strategy is for the tune-up to, to be a revenue generator through these other activities that we have in the model, we have to have all the correct support mechanisms in place in order to be successful.